Hello and welcome back to the Ultra Wide Gamer channel. Got another unboxing for you today. Today we have a little package from Amazon. And now this package, again, this is for the sim, gonna upgrade the rig. But we're doing it in a DIY job. Now, been eyeing up butt kicker processes and all of that and the equipment and how you rig it in and how you attach it and what have you. Not sure it's something I want to get into heavily, so I thought, you know what, how else can I do this? So, after doing a little bit of digging around in the internet, came across certain parts. This is the first part, so what we'll do, we'll open this up, so we can see exactly what's going on. You'll have to excuse the any camera shake, my main tripod is in use elsewhere. the desk a second. So, if we grab, oh look, multiple packages, let me get that out of the way. So we have another box to open. Spectacular. And we got this side. This side. Whoa, that nearly knocked everything off. That side didn't open. I got it. I got it. So, I can open. So, inside, hold up. I thought I'd have to buy a new one of them, but it comes with audio cable. Comes with power cable with power supply and we have Hong Zing 2-in-1 amplifier or 2.1 amplifier new sub bass oh yeah three hundred watts times two base 150 watts output four to eight ohms yeah, well, if you believe what it says in the box. So, have a look. I'll tell you what. Let's get it the right way around. There we are. Have a look. The deluxe auto sound enlarger, really. Yeah. So, let's have a look at this, shall we? And I think if this actually works, I may actually invest in better equipment but this is just to see if it works how well it works am I going to be happy with it so as you stand you've got your high foot audio amplifier controls you've got your on off super bass volume not quite sure how that's going to work well, I've got to admit a bit noisy but they do have a good feel to the control knobs, I give them that much. Uh, nothing too spectacular to look at. So again, power supply. Just so you guys can see. 12 volt, 5 amp. Nothing spectacular again. And comes with the cable. Here's the cable. Just your standard three and a half mil RCA jacks. Well, look, I'll put that in camera shot there. There we go. So there we are. That's the first part. And we'll get on to the second box shortly. And then after that, we'll have a look at how it's going to mount to the rig and how it configures and what software we're going to use. So there'll be a whole whole video session there. So uh, keep an eye out on this one. More to come. Back from the video that we did the other day, or earlier on I should say, it was actually the other day. This is the next day though. Um, this little amplifier. We're going to be using that to create um, 
a base shaker. So, as you can see, power's all supplied in. This power supply module here, that's going to be replaced. So here will change, you'll uh, have a refresh. So that white cable coming down there though. Down, 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 down. Coming out, 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 out. Two. Hold on, what is that? This is the bait shaker. That's going to be mounted to the rig. That hopefully will give us some vibration in the seat. The plan is, if you look down here, there's a bar there. I'll clamp it to that maybe. Can't get it clamped to the seat, unfortunately. Well, the other option is I'll get two base shakers and put them either side of the rig. But I'm going to go for that front bar. Got to find some wood to create the clamping force. Got to be very strong because it's got to hold in place, number one. And it's got to transfer the vibration across. That or I'll make a bracket out of metal. I've given it a quick test. We get the vibration coming through, um, but I'll need to obviously tweak it, balance out the, the, the strength of the amplifier, which is what? In mono mode, it's probably like 60 odd watts, 70 watts. This is rated supposedly as a 100 watt shaker. I'll see if it's any good, it may need two, um, but I will report back. I know it's plugged in, I know it's working for now. How well it works, I really won't know until it's down there and on the rig. So, I'll carry on doing the work. I haven't got the room to uh, put the camera up and be able to show the installation and what I do, but I will come back at certain points to keep you informed. Now, I need to get myself a little bit of food and make that mountain bracket and I'll report back later. So here you are, this is the plate that I'm going to use, so I've cut this metal plate out. We're going to mount through that, through a metal bar on the rig, which again I'll show you, but again we're just marking out the piece. I'm going to drill the mountain holes, and I'll be back shortly with a further update, hopefully showing where it's mounted and how it's mounted to the chair itself. So, back again soon. So, update on the rig. Now updated a new power strip, which I'm due to transfer, and found a use for the old adapter, and I'll show you what happens with that in just a click. There you go, what better way to store your wheel but use your spare adapter on the wall and clip your wheel to it. Keeps it out of the way. So now we can have it all nice and tidy in here, and I can start organizing the cable and get this uh, pile of mess down here organized nice and tidy so there we have it there is the shaker mounted I can't even hold my phone properly there you go so that's the shaker onto a metal plate between the bar that runs across either at the front of the seat I should say um, at the front of the seat and links to either side so we've only got the one for now this is just purely a test we'll see what the performance is like again we're using sim hub to control the shaking and the, the power of it so hopefully we get a good result and who knows um, if it's as good as what it could be we might look at investing into two of these and have them either side of the rig um, to do at least left and right vibrations and what have you so uh, I shall report back my findings and give you an update this could be a good entry level base shaker for anybody uh, but we'll see how we get on so uh, again I'll be back shortly Hello and welcome back. Right, a further update. We have changed the way this is mounted. Rather than mounting to that main bar, that didn't really work because that caused way too much noise to be present. We even put some felt pads up there to try and help. Didn't work. So, we've mounted it here to a point. And this, until I can work out how I'm going to mount it, Securely, I'll probably have to go for a wood bracket or something. Um, but for now, it's mounted to a metal plate in there. The wiring I'll look into tidying up later. But so far, so good. That seems to be working in transmitting the sound through. Noise is a lot less, because it was a hell of a racket when it was mounted to uh, 
that particular bar, but since we've relocated here, it's improved no end. However, I will still investigate the best way to mount. How? Not entirely sure, but we will get back to it. Now, let me move and I'll come back shortly and show you what else has been done. So in here with the main PC, as you can see, the wheel is on the wall, so that's where I'm going to store my wheel when it's not in use. New power strip, because we just needed it, and I'll have to cable tidy that up when I've got some cable tidies. Obviously it makes this a little bit neater by here, again, still got to tidy up the cable in. As for the amplifier that supplies the signal to the shaker, there's the old handbrake, but if we go down, there it is. That's the amp at the side of me for now. And what I'll probably do, I'll fix it by there. But again, this rig has got so many cables. So many. Look at that. That's down there. Let's get that out of the way. So many cables. But it's in a corner, so I can't get round to one side without pulling the whole rig out. And I'm not really in a position to do that right now. So for now, this is where it's going to stay. And the amp then, I'll find a secure way of mounting that to the rig. Probably do it with Velcro actually, because I want I need to be able to get the, the app on and off if I need to adjust anything, but hopefully I'll have it set up and that'll be it. Now, we'll do a, a quick video here. This software, the Sim Hub software, top tip, feedback factor is very important. Because I spent ages trying to work out why haven't I got any vibration on some of these. And the feedback factor was the most important factor. I would suggest going through each one, one at a time, turning them on and off, on and off, down until you find the ones that you want. I wouldn't bother with speed, wouldn't bother with RPM. They just muddy any sensation you get. The best ones I found... I mean, you don't really need gear change, but it does give a little effect. But the best ones overall, front left and front right vibration, get those in and they will get you feeling the bumps. Um, Got to admit, this is a base shaker system that is done on a budget set you back less than £40 and certainly gets you into a base shaker. You know, yeah, I, I can see myself probably investing later on, but this is just for me to try, see if it could be done. You know what? We're trying there. That's a project cars there, testing this out. And you know what? It does work. For £40, you can get yourself as cheapest chips, entry level, base shaker system that works. And... You can certainly add and build on it, you can improve on it at a later date, and you can upgrade to the better systems. For me, I don't think I'm going to go too far. I'm not in an environment where I can probably get away with this running 100% all the time. I've got neighbours and other people I need to consider. Um, so for me, it's quick and easy. I can turn it on and off easy. And uh, it adds to the overall experience. So I can certainly recommend it if you're really going to do it and you really want to get the best, probably better off investing in the good systems. How this compares to um, the manufactured base shakers out there, you know, like um, the ones that cost, what, about 100, 200 pound? Um, I think they're about 100 and, 180 to 200. They probably are better, no doubt. How much better? Who knows? I can't advise, unfortunately. Maybe one day I'll get to try one out or even purchase one. But if I do, I'll certainly let you know. Um, but there we are. That's it. This is my little video of me building my own little base shaker system. And it gets a bit of a thumbs up for £40. Yeah, it does a good job. Well, it does an okay job, I'll say. I can't say good job because I've got nothing to compare it to. But for me, it's a start. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, give a like and subscribe. And, you know, 
show me your support if you can. Really looking to grow the channel. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one.